Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever this is going over the YouTube channel. I pray and I hope that the first thing that rolled off of your lips was thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to get it right. Just in case I missed something on yesterday, you've given me another opportunity. And I do thank you for that. You may be getting ready to prepare breakfast, lunch, or dinner. As the old folks used to say, supper time. I ask you, before you start your endeavor, to open your ears and radiate your mind and let it flow on down to your heart. And let the heart pump the word of the morning, of the afternoon, of the evening. And the word for Thursday is outward outward. You know, we have a tendency to want to make sure <laughs> that our hair is in place, our makeup is in place, our outfit is right on time. We want to make sure that, some people do, want to make sure that their house is clean, their car is clean, their children outwardly look good. Some women want to make sure that outwardly their husbands are being taken care of. But I want you to think about something. Is it the outwardness with the Lord that counts? Or is it the inward part of a man that counts? Let's look at the definition of outwardly. Always for a particular place or uh, towards the outs outside. Everything has to be intact from the outside. From the outside. Let's look at what the Bible says about outwardly. The outward man. The outward man lives in the kingdom of this world by his own strength. See, our outwardness is what gets us in a lot of trouble. It, our emotions, our power, relying on his will. Therefore, we do not lose heart even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. Is your focus, is your total desire, is the outward part of you? Are you making sure that the Holy Spirit is driving the inward part of you? outwardly. See, you can be around a person long enough and you can find out what's on the inside of them. Because what's on the inside will eventually manifest itself on the outside. The children in church used to sing a song. <clears throat> he works from the inside out. He doesn't work from the outside in. So he pushes good out. Matthew 23, 27, and 28. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites. For you are like unto the white sepulchre, that means the cemetery, the grave, which indeed appears beautifully outwardly. See, once a year, the Jews whitewash the tombs in order to make them conspire to men that they may look at them and admire them because the outward was so beautiful. By touching or walking over them, they kept them so beautiful and so clean that they felt like if they didn't, 
by walking over them, they would defile themselves. But are within like the dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. See, we may clean up on the outside, but what about the inside? It says they're like dead men's bones lying in a grave. That means you're dead on the inside. You know, somewhere in the Bible, God asked them, said, can these bones live? And yes, they can. But the only way they can live and be beautifully outside, the gospel must go forth. You got to get to the marrow of the bone. That's where the healing process starts. The marrow of the bone. Even so, you also outwardly appear righteous mm, unto men. And there's a lot of us appear very righteous unto men. But within, you are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. That means you're running over with sin. You've been eaten up worse than stage four cancer. Have you asked the Holy Spirit today to cleanse you from the inside first? So only you can answer that. The only person that can answer that is you. And if so, let us remember the last portion of the verse. But are within full of dead men's bones. If you have not asked the spirit to come in and cleanse you. And of all uncleanliness and all unrighteousness. Please let us ask the Lord today to start working on us from the inside. And watch what would happen in your life. And if the Lord Jesus Christ says the same, I will see you on Friday. Be safe. Be blessed. And know God is working from the inside out. Bye-bye.